Hi, my name is Swami Chandrareti. I did my graduation in civil engineering from Vignan University. Now I'm currently working as a structural design training engineer in a construct design and build private limited. So this is my portfolio profile. So this after immediately portfolio page, I just added my cover letters, which is uh, seeking as a structural design engineer role, like the data it's showing here. And coming to my short profile, like here, I represented everything like technical skills, which I were having like P-Delta analysis, response spectrum, dynamic analysis, model analysis, buckling analysis and soft story and some other analysis too. And the codal provisions, which are Indian standard codes and uh, international codes too. Here coming to the softwares, which I followed for designing and detailing for the buildings are the CSI, SAFE, ATAP, SAP and some other softwares I represented here and the projects in the association, association with eConstruct I have worked here is like these are the projects and coming to uh, area of expertise I was uh, performing the analysis and designing of high rise and mid rise and low rise buildings coming to the foundation designing I am capable of doing all types of the foundation including pile plus wrap foundation in the detailing aspect I was able to use the hand drafting AutoCAD drafting and CSI detailer and RCDC softwares by using software also I am capable of doing the detailing and coming to presentation skills I am capable of preparing the PPTs and design basis report for all types of the projects whichever I did so these are like uh, so this is my uh, project details so in the pro the first project whichever i did in econstruct is g plus 5 which is located in mumbai so in the particular building whatever the things i consider for performing the analysis and design is the loads which i which i considered is dead load live load static wind loads and earthquake loads coming to the analysis which i performed is model analysis p delta response spectrum stiffness modification soft story and some other analysis Coming to the foundation, it is a uh, isolated footing and allowable settlement which is uh, restricted to 25 mm for the isolated footing. And coming to the checks that I performed in the foundation designing is bearing pressure settlement, one way shear, two way shear check, crack width and soil interaction. And the codes whichever I followed for this particular project are this IS1893 for the earthquake analysis and IS875 is for the wind analysis and some other uh, codes I used. So coming to the second uh, project, it is a G plus four commercial project, which is located in the uh, Bangalore. So the loads, which I, uh, the load considered analysis, which I performed on the foundation de uh, details. So in the foundation details, like in this particular project, like foundation is a uh, eccentric footings are coming because like restriction with the other buildings like restriction uh, limiting is one feet something is there from the column center so particular project we controlled with uh, control the stabilities by using the strap bins so strap bin footing is used in this particular foundation coming to the checks that we performed in the foundation are bearing settlement punching crack width and soil interaction curve and the course which we followed in this and in the superstructure if the building was uh, undergoing into the deflection so for the particular uh, analysis we did creep uh, to control the deflections coming to the third uh, third project i did is g plus 2 which is a commercial project in the second floor actually it having a meeting hall so in between we can't place the columns as per the architecture rules so here what we did is we used like a deep beams at that particular floor and we did uh, analysis for that project and coming to the foundation design it is also an isolated footing so whatever the codes we are, uh, I was used like I mentioned here. So coming to the fourth project, it is also a residential project which is located in Tumkur, Bangalore. So here also whatever the analysis I performed like response spectrum, stiffness modification, torsion irregularity, I shown here. And coming to the foundation type, it is also isolated footings. So whatever the codes I performed in this particular project, I shown here. Coming to mid-rise uh, mid buildings, the building, uh, the name of the building is uh, G plus 9 with two basements and located in Mysore. So in this particular project, we did, uh, I did analysis of modal analysis, P-delta response spectrum, stiffness modification factors and torsion irregularity. And coming to the foundation type, it's a raft foundation. So in the raft foundation, we checked like bearing pressure settlement, one way shear check, two way shear check, uh, crack width and soil interaction by following the codes IS1893, 875 part two, part three, IS456, UBC code also. And coming to another project which I did with eConstruct is G plus 12 building. It is a completely structural wall system. So in this particular project, like uh, it is a raft foundation and allowable settlement uh, for the raft foundation is restricted to 50 mm. So we performed the analysis for particular deflection checking and some other criteria as to based on the code standards. 
coming to another projects this is the flat slab project located in the mumbai it's a g plus 16 pro, uh, g, uh, g plus 16 floors so in this particular flow uh, project like uh, four floors are like podiums for the car parking as per the architectural for uh, architectures and like other things are commercial project so it is completely flat slab system which is having ramp to in this project so for this like we check the crack width for the flat slab projects and the codes we performed in this uh, followed in this and the loads we considered and coming to the analysis we did creep analysis to control the deflection in this criteria so coming to next project so it is a high-rise building which is located in mumbai it's a g plus 24 rehabilitation building so here the major issue is coming against the wind loads so we calculated actually wind loads based on the gust dynamic analysis so based on the code of is 875 part 3 2015 we followed the wind gust analysis and we performed the design so this particular foundation is a raft foundation so in this particular project like sbc is 1100 uh, kN per meter square and allowable settlement is 50 mm so this is the data regarding the rehabilitation building Coming to the high-rise building, whichever I did in e-construct is uh, G plus 42. And this building also, it is too slender and having uh, issues with uh, maximum displacement and drift. So in this particular building, a um, soft story is also there. Since it is a high-rise high building, uh, they actually required uh, refuge floors uh, for every seven floors based on the architectural plans. So here, due to that, like uh, soft story effect is also coming. So we actually resolve that particular issue also in this project. And coming to high-rise project, since it is like uh, more governing in the wind displacement, too much stiffness is required to resolve the uh, wind uh, displacement. So for that, like uh, there was an issue, basic issue is coming in uh, from model analysis. Achieving model mass part displacement for this particular project is very difficult. And coming to the foundation system, it's a, uh, due to heavy wind loads, like it's coming as a overturning moments more. So for this project, we did actually with the pile plus raft foundation. So I will show the foundation pictures also next slides. So coming to the steel structures, uh, it is an industrial steel project which is located in Goa and the name of the project is Banji Jampi. So the height of the project is 53.2 and the length of the cantilever beam is 24 meters. So for the 24 meters uh, span to control the deflection and lateral displacement and drifts is very difficult. And for this project also we did wind gust analysis. So coming to the uh, foundation, the building is located near to the river. So since it is located to near river, we gone with the pile plus uh, pile cap foundation based on the codes, whatever I followed, like I just mentioned here. So next coming to the foundations uh, for the high rise projects. So raft foundation for, uh, for uh, rehab project is, uh, this is the simple punching share calculation check and coming to uh, G, uh, GBP check, like this is the image for that. So coming to another uh, foundation like punching share check and settlement check for G plus 43 building for pile plus raft foundation. And coming to pile design, uh, in the bungee jumpy project like this is the pile cap arrangement with the pile points and uh, loading points. So here we arranged pile points in the AutoCAD and we shifted into the safe software and we did the analysis. After analy analyzing in the safe software, we actually found the pile capacity and later based on the pile capacity, we gone to a software called Procon to design the pile capacity checks. So here based on the soil profile, what is the length of the pile actually we need to design and what is the diameter we need to choose what type of like soil profiles is coming, completely analyzed in the software called Procon. So this is like group pile arrangement uh, for the high rise building G plus 42. So this is like underground water tank design and overhead tank water uh, water tank design. So these tank designs we actually did in the I actually did in the uh, software called SAP 2000. So in this software like uh, we analyzed the tanks by considering the loads dead live uh, loads and the soil pressure loads and water loads since it is an underground tank there will be both water pressure and oppositely like there will be soil pressure load also so it's the capacity of the water tank is like 2, uh, two lakhs liter so these are the images regarding the analysis and modeling of the water tank and this is the images regarding the overhead tank uh, analysis and designing so overhead tank there will be no soil pressure only uh, dead load live load and water pressure we are considered in the designing Considering coming to the swimming pool design, this particular uh, swimming pool also designed in the SAP software. So in the SAP software, like we model the swimming pool by considering the fixed supports at the base and hinge supports. 
so this is the uh, length of the swimming pool is 14.2 meter and uh, width is the 6 meters and height is the 1.5 meters so this particular uh, swimming pool is located at the terrace of one of the project located in mumbai so whatever the loads i consider are dead and live and what are preserved for the analysis and design and coming to the staircase de uh, designing and detailing so we modeled one particular floor staircase in sap by considering the hinge supports at the all ends and this is particular uh, detailing diagram by cons by by uh, analyzing in the software we got my uh, distribution and main main bending moment from that we calculated uh, number of freeboard to be provided and we detailed accordingly so at the end after analysis we performed designing we performed uh, we need to transfer all the gfc drawings to the site so this is like uh, uh, some of the detailing diagrams which i performed uh, through ha hand drafting and like autograd drafting and some other uh, softwares by using so uh, csi detail and rcdc also so this is one of the core wall detailing uh, which is showing longitudinal reinforcement too and also in plane shear uh, reinforcement so how the rain uh, ties are arranged uh, in the core wall like it is showing here so here in the shear wall we actually uh, there was a boundary elements in the boundary elements we actually perform detailing as per column and in the non boundary element we need to detail as a shear wall itself by considering the code standards and minimum reinforcement percentage we uh, we actually detailed accordingly this is the continuous beam one of the continuous beam detailing in one of the project so this particular uh, reinforcement uh, how longitudinal reinforcement is uh, detailed in the continuous bump how the arrangement is going on it is shown in the diagram so what is the diameter of the bar to be used what is the lapping length what is the development length we need to use what is the zone like uh, zone length uh, uh, zone we need to use for the lap so everything are mentioned in the one beam and coming to these things sectional views these are like shear reinforcement details how the shear links are to be provided in the particular beam everything is shown here Coming to the uh, structural framing plan, like structural framing plan actually represents the labeling of like slabs, columns, beams and what type of slabs, sunken slabs, like uh, normal slab, what is the depth of the slab and what is the staircase location, what is the openings. So everything is shown here with the standard labelings. So whenever we want to check the detailed drawings, we will check the labeling from here and we will uh, we'll look into the GFC drawings. So coming to the uh, slab, uh, slab detail, coming to the slab detailing. So here uh, actually how the longitudinal main bars are going, how the uh, distribution bars are arranging, whenever there is an opening, how the detailing is going to do, everything is shown in the slab detailing. And coming to the sectional view, how the top and bottom reinforcement is varying in the slab uh, which uh, I shown here it, uh, through the drafting in the AutoCAD. So this is the detailed drawing of one isolated footing. So in the footing, how the main bars and distribution bars are arranged. Uh, so what is the cover we need to use, what is the PCC and the grade of PCC concrete we need to follow. So everything I mentioned in the sectional view. And coming to the flan view, what is the excavation line we follow, what is the PCC line we need to follow and what is the uh, boundary line of the foundation and the column location like what is the bars we need to use in the main bar and distribution bar. So uh, I uh, everything detailed accordingly as per the uh, uh, code standards SP34 and IS456. So this is my complete portfolio. Now I am looking forward to join a company having high design standards and expectations. So thank you very much. Earning चाहिए तो learning करनी पड़ेगी. ज़्यादा earning चाहिए तो ज़्यादा learning करनी पड़ेगी. और learning के लिए e-construct master study on job programs है ना. अगर आप civil engineer हैं और अगर आपको core technical placement चाहिए civil industry में. तो e-construct के on-job full-time, online और offline training programs को join करके आप civil industry में अपना पहला कदम रख सकते हैं। तो आज ही join कीजिए master study learning programs at e-construct.